Hey, it's me and Joe, Whiskey Hounds. We're here at our first store in uh, Boardman, Oregon. And we have our store owner, Richard Rock. Richard. We got the Knob Creek single barrel, which is obviously different from um, the regular Knob Creek 9. There's a big difference between the two. Um, he's one of the, the store owners who knows uh, whiskey. He knows what to order, what is hot, and like you said before, you like to put on the shelf stuff that moves. Mm -hmm. So what kind of stuff did you did you order? Um, in our last order, we ended up getting some Wellers and some E.H. Taylor, and uh, there was a few special orders, some Smoke Wagon Uncut, and I'm trying to look around here. I think there was, oh, the Redwood La Lost Monarch was another one that we got. Oh, um, Redwood. I oh, do, so I do yeah. try to do some research on what we get and, and what's moving, what's popular. You know, there's some stuff that I bring in just to see if it's going to move. And then there's other stuff that people really do want. And, yeah. And we do try to keep up on things uh, um, that with what with, with what people really do want to buy Absolutely. and try. So that's good to know. I mean, stuff there, but you're purposely getting stuff yes. that you know people want. And I do, and I do try to be a little bit knowledgeable about what uh, what it is that they're carrying too. I don't want to just bring something in and like, oh, okay, it's just going to sell. And just sit there. Like, yeah. I want to, you know, like what we were talking about earlier about the Solera bottles and stuff like that. I do look that up and and try to know what I'm talking about. Yeah, In most he, cases he just I explained do. about that Solera. So let's let's look at that Hill Rock. I've seen it a couple times, but I don't really, I didn't do my research, but he has. Yeah, Solera aged, and you were saying what that the Solera aged? I believe it's the tail end of the the barrel is what what I ended up reading okay. about it. Um, and uh, so they've they've aged the barrels for or the aged the whiskey for so long or whatever, and then they they reuse them. And then from what I understand is I believe Solera means that it's it's the last batch that they're going to make before they get rid of the barrel. Now, if I'm wrong, feel free to. Tell me I'm wrong <laughs> it is what I, it. I'm sure well, YouTube's good about that. They'll tell you. Man, look at that. This thing's a brick. Yeah. Well, if anything else, if the whiskey in it ain't very good, you could use it for a decanter. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah, uh, tell us what y'all think. Is this good to buy? Is this a good buy? And if so, uh, obviously, he'll keep ordering it. He, how many cases have you ordered so far? This is so the far? third case that we've This sold is the here. third case of Hill Rock that he's gotten. So uh, nine times out of ten, he'll have it. This one here, the Westward, this is my favorite. I can't believe it's still on the, on the shelf. Um, I probably bought I bought two of them already, <laughs> and so that's the last one. And I'm about right here on my other one. So if it's still here by then, I'm gonna I'm gonna buy that too. It's a very good single malt. He's got all the Calumets, Elijah Craig, sixteen, very good. Maker's Mark, cast strength, very good. He has a wonderful selection. He's got local stuff, American whiskey. Look at this, Beckenridge. Anybody know anything about that? That looks awesome. And like I say, if you ever get a chance to try the Frey Ranch Uncut, do it. It is phenomenal. You'd be missing out if you don't. Got a Russell's Reserve, single barrel. Okay, me and Joe, we're at our second store. Hey, everyone. It's uh, a small town store in Condon, Oregon. To give you an idea what small town we're talking about, uh, Morrow County doesn't have a uh, traffic light. A traffic light. The entire county. You're right. <laughs> so. And hey, we're here in Arlington. Yeah, so this one is a little different. Yeah. But uh, we're going to be headed down even further into Morrow County. And still no traffic lights. Still no traffic lights. <laughs> <laughs> but can we find good whiskey? Hey, you never know. These small places are your can be your honey holes. Well, speaking of honey holes, <laughs> this store is where I picked up my George T. Stag. Right on. So let's go in there and see if lightning strikes twice. Let's hope. <laughs> okay, we have all our Buffalo Trace. Maker's Mark. Jack Daniels. We have 
lots of local stuff. Wow, turkey. How are we doing today? Henry McKenna. Have you tried that? It's a sour. This. That one I haven't. Sour mash. Um, stick with the uh, tenure if you can find it. Single barrel. I haven't even tried that one yet. Yellowstone. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Nope. Not this time. See Maybe later. next time. Yeah, next time. Next time. <laughs> Hey everyone, we are actually on our way to Condon, which is uh, a little bit of a john as you can see. It's a windy road and beautiful. it's beautiful, beautiful out. Yeah. It's probably about 50 some odd degrees out. There's a sunny. There, there's a liquor store somewhere in that direction. I'm, I'm pretty sure of it. Oh wait, we're, we're going to turn here. <laughs> Let's see, will the scenery be different? Nope, still nope. the same. <laughs> but it is a beautiful day for a drive. It, we're excited to see what they have in store for us. All right. All right, we're here. We made it. Murray's Liquor Store. Well, grocery, liquor, whatever. Everything. Your, Big all, downtown. Your town or... needs. All your town needs. <laughs> <laughs> okay, this one is compared to Blanton's, which is right here. We had a lady just tell us that, that she tried this, and that's what it, it tastes like, Blanton's. So... Maybe we'll we'll do a, a comparison with that and see if that's true. Someday. Someday. <laughs> we got Buffalo Trace. Uh, Evan Williams. I don't think we see that around here very often. Yeah, not very often. No. What's this? McKell McKellen's Highland? Mm, yeah, I don't think I've seen McLeland's? that. McLeland's? Yeah. So as you can see, they do get stuff. I mean, we got Booker's. We got Blanton's. Uh, so yeah, Captain Morgan's was there. Bacardi Lime. So as small as this town may be, they still get allocated whiskey. Just today we lucked out. We didn't get anything. Well, still a bust. Yeah, we tried. But that's <laughs> how it is sometimes. 0 for 2. Yeah. All right. Oh, 0 for 3. Well, 3, yeah. Well, we bought something at the other place, so that's oh, good. Yeah. Yeah. So we, we're going to try some more spots. We got time. Let's see if we can find something today. <laughs> Sorry, he had it on photo instead of video, so no, that's why I left. Okay, maybe I did. <laughs> All right, so we, we made it to Fossil. Uh, yeah, it's, it is, it is a very small town. And uh, according to the lady in Condon, the truck comes here too. So we were like, really? We didn't even think Fossil yeah, had I a I didn't even store. think about Fossil. Yeah. So... Let's go check it out. All right. I see what we got at the fossil store. Hey, it's your crown. Shut up, man. <laughs> <laughs> this one here, it says that folks are starting to buy more and more of it. I haven't tried it myself, but it looks interesting. Might have to try it. And over here, look at this, Joe. Have you ever seen New Basin Distilling Strong American Whiskey? Nope, first time. Me either. Sounds awesome. Look at that. Made right here in Oregon. Looks like we have a new distillery to go visit. That's bottle number two. Oh, wow. Picked the right one. Two out of three. 354? It's four years. Well, 40%. Yeah. I want it castrated. I'm going to go try that. <laughs> cool. Even though we're in a small town, they still get good selections here. I mean, there's Eagle Rare. There's Weller 107 that was up there. Uh, uh, our store lady said that she gets it every other try so last time they had three you got Blanton's you got Eagle Rare so cool just because you're in a small town doesn't mean you can't get some good whiskey and there's blue line up there though we're hearing good things about that you got black end angel to envy of course basil Hayden so yeah not quite a bust 
So it wasn't a total bust here in Fossil? No, I mean, they had allocated bottles. You know, you saw the Blantons, you saw the Pendleton, you and, saw... And Brandon picked up one of the most highly anticipated allocated bottles. Ever! Ever. <laughs> hey, I never had it, and I think, <laughs> hey, at 33%, It'll go good in my coffee in the morning. There we go. Mm -hmm. I think so. <laughs> so next stop, we're going to Wasco. Hey everyone, I'm back again in Wasco. Back again, we made it. Well, we made it, yeah. Just barely. <laughs> yeah. It was touch and go there for a minute, but we're good. <laughs> yeah, but uh, as we, we pulled up, there's a guy coming out with a brown bag. I wonder if he got our whiskey. We'll see. You never know. Let's find out. So, here in Wasco, there is Buffalo Trace. We got uh, some Mictors. We got the single barrel. That's good. Uh, and talking to the lady, she said that they get Blattens here, they get Eagle Rare, Wellers. So again, even though it's a small town, you can still hunt some decent bottles. I bought something anyway. It's uh, for Bloody Marys. This, I was told, is what to get. But then I also saw right next to it. So, yeah, I'm gonna mix them both up and <laughs> put in a Bloody Mary. But anyways, guys, we. Anyways, that's pretty much our trip. We went around. Got around. I think we'll end back up in Boardman, Boardman. and probably get that single barrel. Yeah. Nah.